I'm Jay Station is being accused of exploiting Mac Miller's death after he posted a bizarre video that shows him trying to speak to the spirit of Mac Miller using an EVP. All right, Mac Miller. If you're around here, if you want to reach out to us, now is the time. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. If you need a place to get your news on YouTube, smash the subscribe and notification bell and follow us on Instagram while you're at it. Jason Ethier, aka I'm Jay Station, is feeling the wrath of social media after he posted a video that shows him apparently trying to contact the ghost of a deceased rapper known as Mac Miller. For those who are unaware, 26 year old rapper Mac Miller died back in September. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The cause of death was a drug overdose, but police believe his death might have been a suicide. Mac Miller's death was a devastating tragedy. Everybody was looking for someone to blame. Ariana Grande, who was once in a relationship with Mac Miller, had to deal with a lot of trolling from people who blamed her for his death and overdose. The video is called RIP Mac Miller Spirit Box Challenge at 3 a.m. Speaks about Ariana Grande. And at the time of this recording, it's got over half a million views. It was posted a few days after Mac Miller's death. The video starts with Jason asking his subscribers for a thumbs up as a quote, prayer for Mac Miller. Jason then uses an electronic voice phenomenon device or EVP. It's a device that's used by ghosts and paranormal hunters. EVP are sounds found on electronic recordings that are interpreted as spirit voices that have either been unintentionally recorded or intentionally recorded. Most paranormal investigators claim that EVPs allow spirits to make contact with the real world. So Jason uses this EVP to tune into AM and FM radio waves and begins asking it questions. So on his channel, he posts a lot of these 3 AM challenges where he tries to contact spirits. He says he's contacted Slenderman and he also says he FaceTimed with Michael Myers. The EVP at first doesn't pick up much, but then it picks up the words yo, yo, yo. Jason then asks, were you sad about Ariana Grande? A man's voice says, I was in love with somebody. Good times, bad times, stress. Then it came to an end. The voice then says, show people that I was okay. Use social media, it's all positivity. It was just too much, I had no time. Depressed, I made a mistake. Don't worry, I'm okay. The voices then stop and the image of Ariana Grande appears on Jason's television. Not too sure what's going on here guys, maybe the responses were pre-recorded. And then again, maybe Jay Station did manage to contact the spirit of Mac Miller. Previously in the video, Mac Miller also appeared on Jason's TV. But most people who watched this video were not convinced that it was legit. And they were upset that Jay Station made a video like this in the first place. To make matters worse, Jay Station enabled ads on the video so he was making money off of it. Jay Station's video has 69,000 dislikes to 32,000 likes, so that gives you an idea of how people are feeling about it. The comment section is flooded with negative responses where people are saying that he's exploiting Mac Miller's death for YouTube views and revenue. Jason has responded to the criticism in an interview with The Daily Dot, defending his video and saying that it wasn't an attempt to exploit the late rapper's death. He said, everyone gains attention from celebrity death by talking about it. The thing is though, this isn't the first time Jason has caused controversy over a video like this. Back when XXX died a few months ago, Jason posted a video of him using a Ouija board to try and contact his spirit. In the interview with the Daily Dot, Jason further said that he wasn't going to be doing another video where he tried to contact the spirit of a deceased musician. Even though if he did do an EVP or Ouija board video on Michael Jackson, Elvis or the Beatles, people wouldn't care. There are a lot of YouTubers who get flack for making videos about celebrities who have recently passed away. IO veteran Michael McCrudden is a good example. He does a segment on his channel called Before They Were Gone, where he publishes bios and eulogies about famous people. He's gotten a lot of criticism from other YouTubers like Keemstar, who have started calling him Michael McGreedy. On the one hand, the press and the media in general do publish stories about the death of influential people. And they do make money off of it. This is like, there's nothing new guys, and it's not just YouTubers. When you click on a news story about the death of someone, there's ads on the page. And without these news outlets, no one would know about the deaths of influential people in the first place. I'm torn guys, do you think the YouTubers should make videos about other people's deaths? Do you think that JayStation went too far with this video? Let me know in those comments, but for now I'm gonna do some comment replies. Grandma Haiti said, Canadian bacon is not bacon. Bacon. Agreed, it's like ham. Still pretty good though. Alyssa Cotty said, Hey Charlotte, I love IO. It's one of the funnest places to find news. Well, hey, thanks. Glad you like our videos there, bud. Rosaline Santu said, Can you make me watch this channel instead of Drama Alert? I mean, for the record, I try not to hate on YouTubers and call them names like Keemstar does, so at least there's that. Raya N said, Hey Charlotte, wanna make out? Uh, I'll think about it. Sick Nasty Plays said, why am I not potato enough to be on IO? Everyone is potato. Just depends if I see if your comment or not, really. 
Welcome to the end screen, this means the video is over. Don't you worry though, you can keep watching IO by checking out this playlist. And if you enjoyed your time here, like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.